Hello and welcome. I'm MJ Haggis and we're playing SnowRunner and we're still in British Columbia on Season 10. Now, as you can see in the background, we have our new Mac M917, as I think what it is. But we're currently in the Land Rover again because we're, we're going to do a little bit more scouting. However, I was given a comment and a mighty helpful comment too. Um, in that direction there, probably that building there, is our garage and it's not like we have to uh, fully construct it we have a garage slot what this contract does is gives us more slots in the garage plus also the warehouse and the truck store but we do actually have a functioning garage and that's what i want to check out first because if that's the case then our cheeky little new mac is going to go straight back to the garage so Without weight, uh, oh, he's gone to sleep. How rude. You were awake a minute ago. God, you must be knackered. Um, so on that basis, I think it would definitely be worth getting him back to the garage. But quickly, and first of all, I want to welcome Blanket Boy 77 as a subscriber. Thank you, Blanket Boy 77. Interesting name. So on that basis, now we get this guy back to the garage. Let's do it. Get him awake, and we'll fight our way through the mud. Glorious mud. So I don't know how much more of this area becomes built. Maybe that there in the background is the truck store? I don't know. All guests work at this stage, but we'll get to it. I've highlighted it as the current task. And that's the drop-off point. But there's the garage there. So it's, and there we've discovered it. That answers that question move to the garage ah, so no slots and no truck store that's fine we can still customize that's the main thing okay excellent i'll retain them then even though we're going to be using them again shortly probably mac defense let's get you back to the garage what an excellent way to start an episode i do like it when it's like that all good news. Try to study the suspension in the back of that. Is that air suspension? It looks like there's a little... Is it air? I was given an excellent comment by Dame... Uh, was it? Oh no, I need to think of the name now. I don't want to say the wrong person. Big long comment, very detailed on the suspension, be it um, the leaf springs and all the rest of it. Very knowledgeable comment, as he's left a few times. In right, customize. What have we got here? Okay, we have all the engines. A plus, so that one's actually a better power to weight ratio than the fuel miser one and better durability well we'll just have to fit that one then we can sell that oh 15,000 and 24,400 not that we need the cash but that's a that's a nice little income multi-purpose I'm gonna go for the fine tune I think yeah sell that one stock suspension oh active okay we'll spend some of that Get rid of that. Tires. Alter it. No, no. We were off roads. See, they are good, excellent, and average. Uh, we're going to have to go for the muds. What do they look like? Hmm. Okay. Probably those. Don't need to worry about on road, but mainly it's off road and mud. So we'll go for them at the moment. They might be slightly tweaked. Even though it just says good, excellent, and average. However. We've got chains as well, which is quite nice. Default winch, we have to go advanced medium. Diff is already there. Snorkel, what have we got here? That's a fairly decent raised one. Oh, that's... And usually, that's more expensive, but that's probably a worse situated uh, snorkel. 
So we'll take the better one and cheaper. And lots of add-ons. Um, I'm thinking for this, it would be wise to fit the sideboard bed. Do we get a crane with this? Oh, we do indeed. We do indeed. Um, I'm looking for a stronger version of it, but I don't think we get the stronger one. Okay, it's better than a poke in the eye. Okay, so it looks like we're getting a fairly decent truck now. Um, what else have we got? Anything... Anything like maybe supplies? Visors, visors... Ooh, trunk, there we go. That's exactly it. 150 repair parts and 80 fuel. Mm, gotta be done. Again, you take it when you can. It's free. And apparently, this is quite a thirsty beast. That stock. I quite like that one. Doesn't seem to be too much lower than the stock one. Okay, we'll take that. Horns and horns I'm not overly fussed about at the moment. Got that. That one. And that one. Snub heat shield. As opposed to stock. Uh, we'll take it. I don't know why though. And I, I don't see much benefit. And the rims, that one and that one. I just go for that one. Okay, colour. Let's see if we've got... Uh, no fancy colours. We've got multi-colours. Uh-huh. Shame it doesn't change the load bed again. Whoa, okay. Quite like, what was the yellow? Yellow and black with blue. So we try that. We'll install that one. We're going to nip back to this. Uh, no, we're going to nip back to this one. And I've got the colour sideboard, so in theory... Ah, see, it does match it. That's quite nice. Right, I think we'll go for that one. It's the same two slot, it just colour matches to the rest of your paint. Nice little add-on mod. So that looks alright. Oh, we've lost the crane. Aha, there's the crane. Not the same kind of yellow, but it's close. Let's take the crane. Just because, you never know when it might be coming handy. That is pretty decent. In fact, I never looked at all the other add-ons. Has it got anything special to it? I'm not seeing anything. It's got a good range of add-ons because you've got the towing platform, the ramped platform, you've got the van body, maintenance frame, and the seismic vibrator module. Does it have the metal detector? It's the only thing I'm missing, I think. I may have missed it. But that's a pretty decent range of add-ons. So... I think, right, first of all, let's get out of here. Oh, yeah. Sinking straight into the mud. But from here, we can just nip right over to that there, right next door, and pick up some vehicle spare parts, I believe, and we can get them dropped off there. That's a unusually close pick-up and drop-off point. Fire it up and have a listen to that. Oh yeah. Permanent all-wheel drive. I like this. This is a good truck, this. It's not uh, service. We want vehicle spare parts, please. And we can just reverse straight back. Yeah. Right out the mud. Easiest pick up and drop off ever. So, let's put the engine off. Wooden planks and bricks. Where are we going to get them from? Way over there and bricks. Oh no, even further. Okay, I did see a fuel trailer. That's quite handy. Well, it's not technically that far to get back to this fuel station here. Okay. In the town and up there. I think we should use the Mac and get it in for its inaugural 
test drive and put it to good use. We know we can get around this. Um, what's it called? You have to take a detour along the marshes task. That's quite a name. And we've got our plants workhorse that needs to go somewhere. Maybe we could use the Mac to pull that. Where was that going? I can't quite remember. We're going around there and into town. Maybe stop by the fuel station if it's that bad on fuel. And then we're going up to the factory. I'll do. Okay, excellent. Um, I wanted to actually go back. So I have to go back into the map. Uh, what was that one? Plants workhorse. Where are you going? You're from there to the metal works. You are going. Ah, you're going up to this factory here. Even if you got them pulled into the town and dropped them off for a later finish up of that job, then so be it. So if we can use the man to do that and get him through the marshes, we will do. Right, let's go for a drive. Let's give him a proper test. We've got everything here. We've got the repair, we've got fuel, we've got the garage. It's just, I don't even know if it's a little bit out of the way. Are we going to be up in this neck of the woods of this map a lot? In which case it's not out of the way. So much for me going exploring. I want to get the garage, the second garage construction, because that will give us a warehouse and the truck store. How much we'll need them, I'm not too sure yet, but I would like to do it because it's quite an important contract, I think. Okay, didn't expect you quite struggle so much in that. I didn't use a diff lock, but now I am. Ooh, okay. That's... That was worse than I thought he was going to be in there. I thought we were going to storm through that. Just one little nasty muddy section. I mean, clearly there's going to be a whole number of our mod trucks that are going to be better than the Mac and also the Kenworth. Why have I gone that way? I need to go that way. Bad placement of my waypoint. Yeah, a lot of mods going to be a bit better, but it's nice to use and I've said it many times, nice to use what they've provided us with. Especially when it's a brand new truck to the game. We're going to get, oh, straight to, oh. Okay, I didn't expect that. That's an abrupt halt. I thought maybe I'd hit a tree or something that hadn't, like, despawned. Land Rover made it through there a lot easier, but I think it's got slightly tweaked tyres as the old Land Rover. Oh, forwards please, just release the winch. Yeah, slowing the wheels down to stop them spinning does seem to make that extra difference. This means you're going slower. Right, are you ready for a wee tow? Oh, I knew I was going to do that. There we go. Oh, he's pulling him, no bother. So far. I'm going to reel him in a little bit closer. Might have to get his engine on for this. It'll go. Just to make my life a little bit easier. Yeah, no problem. Go and steady.
wonder what mods of these two, the, the Mac and the Kenworth, are going to start rapidly appearing. I know that there's obviously one Kenworth available. But I suspect there'll be a whole lot more very soon. Oh, that truck has got a very low snob or air intake. I just saw the warning for it. Um, should we go around this time? I think we should. He's got a a rock, a boulder attached to him. Get off. Yeah. She's despawned, that's good. And he's off the rock. Okay. This doesn't seem bad at all. There's the gaps that we're looking for. Oh no. Uh, how do I get through there? Um, pick a slightly smaller tree, we'll try and knock it down. That one? Yeah. Okay. That one there? No! Okay. How do we get through? Back it up. And then your wheels, I want traction. Can we sneak through here? Oh no, don't again. Right, okay, let's detach the winch. See if we can pull ourselves forwards. Okay, that just flattened that tree. One less to mow down. How about that one? Well, that's a solid one. There we go. Oh, squeeze through the gap. Right, hardest part now is going to be getting the other truck, which I've forgotten the name of. Okay. Please don't hit that lower tree. Go round it, go round it. Oh, good, 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 good. Squeeze, breathe in. Come on. Am I almost through? I feel like the cranes may be caught in that last tree. Oh, man. We really are close. There's probably a really easy way through. Yeah, I'm definitely caught on that one tree. Let's try... Oh, that fits just... Give it up, tree. Go on. There we go. Uh, is that the truck? He's a bit smaller, so he should come through there dead easy. He says... Oh, you had to that tree as well, did you? Come on. Oh, what? Okay. Back it up. We'll try it at a more acute angle. I remember, I put my handbrake on. Hoping that'll just pull that across off the tree. You are trolling me. Okay, next stage is release that anchor's crane. One. Okay, you're releasing all the time. Heave him. He's lifted the front of the truck up, he has not. 
He's, he's like he's stuck to the tree now. And it's getting dark, so I can't really see what I'm doing, so it's not going to help you guys either. Oh, he's there. He's gone. Right. That's what I was after. Get rid of the crane. Just one. Okay. Let's move a little bit further away. And we're through. Oh, I made hard work of that. In fact, let's get it down to the day. What's the time? Half past seven and it's dark. Okay. Who's that going to look? Oh, that's better. Maybe that little road block up ahead, even though it's easy for the Land Rover to pull this, uh, pull, uh, yeah, the Mac over, might be worth doing that pretty soon as well. Get the roads open, make my life easier. Uh, I'm going to turn his engine back on. I don't remember turning it off. Oh, that's better. We are fairly well going through that fuel. He's 20 litres a minute. And he's only got a 350 litre tank, so he is. I, I put him in the same category as the Ankh Mark 38. Very powerful, but very thirsty. But we're off. Should be a fairly easy run into the town now. And we do need to see about the Fleet Star 2070 as well as another recovery. But I've got a kind of plan forming my head how we're going to do that or what truck we're going to use for that. But it's just not going to be in this episode, I suspect, so you'll have to come back if you want to see that recovery. Or my attempt at recovery, which is probably closer to the truth. Last muddy section, back onto the good quality stuff. We're definitely going via the fuel station. I'm going to turn his engine off now so I don't forget. And I might actually leave him at the fuel station on the other side. So he's kind of there but out of the way. You stay there, and I'll reverse into the other side. Yeah, he is quite thirsty. Hey, now, where are we going up that junction there? We're going to get ourselves. Ah, see, now that's a problem. We can only get two. We really need a trailer. Two-slot trailer. Need to think about this. Um, trailer stores. Ah, oh, it's way up there. Ah oh, man, and I was at the trailer store. Sideboard semi, but that's no good to us. We need. Where's the other trailers? That one's away over there, but that's also a saddle sideboard trailer. <laughs> yeah, that was the one we were really after, wasn't it? Right at the trailer store. Oh man, okay, we might have to do two runs. We'll go and get the warehouse for the wooden planks and we'll do the bricks later on. 
wind planks over there. Yeah, I didn't think that one through, did I? But my mistakes is your learning if you haven't done it already. Is the other option? No, I was going to say the other option if I want to be a little bit cheaty about it is do my old trick of the double stacking. I would go and get the bricks first and then the wooden planks second if I was double stacking. Thank you very much. It's a shame there's tra no trailer store in the town. That would have been mighty handy. Might be worth bringing a trailer down from the trailer store or one of the trailer stores. We've got maybe something that's dolly attached and something that's low saddle. Well, we've got the low saddle already, which is way off there towards the gateway. So we're catered for there and it's got the ramps. Should we want to put a vehicle on there? Come on. I'm really not too sure what the best use of this truck is. If it's going to be in this sort of configuration with a two slot bed, or would you use it maybe a fuel add on? Kind of a, like a rescue truck. What's its best uses? If you figured it out, by all means, leave a comment, let me know. Am I even going the right way? I feel like I am. Yeah, it must be. This looks a little bit different going the opposite direction again. Aye, there is that junction, so I do know where I am. I'm certainly enjoying the fact that it's a summer, a summer uh, map. Okay, that's going nowhere. I don't have to worry about ice. Okay, that's not a good bit to go in there. I don't expect that to be quite so bad. Right, Billy Swinch. I'm going to head over towards the right where that telegraph pole is, if I can turn. Can't even turn. Oh, this is nasty. I was caught in the wheel tracks there. I did not want to go around at all. I'm not sure if it's the, the weight of the wooden planks is now having an effect and bear in mind I do have the realistic weights mod uh, activated which increases everything but it shouldn't make the mud that much worse Sometimes the extra weight gets the tyres down to the more solid stuff in the mud, in my reckoning of physics. Uh, I'm just going to try and go back the same way as I came over, since I've de demolished those trees and they haven't respawned. Come on. That's a, a better part through the trees than I went.
those wheels and suspension you definitely don't give much flex and I'm stuck again got a winch fitted may as well use it definitely gonna need another one. Oh, that's close glad I fitted the advanced extended winch because I would have been possibly in a little bit of bother there too fast it's definitely spinning up the wheels in the highest of the low ratios I feel like I'm going to come to a standstill again though go on Mac you can do this Oh, too much spinning. I mean, those are mud, cast as mud tires, so in theory, I would have liked to have thought they were maybe a little bit better. Not driving the same track, so. Don't get even more bogged down. Come on, you're an 8x8. Eight eight I'm going to stop here. Watch. There we go. Virtually stop. Some handily placed trees, though. Release the winch. I'll get out of the mud. I was one you to go to that one. Why would you not go to that one? mud is definitely worse than I kind of thought it was going to be for this guy he may work better with a low saddle and trailer then you've got a lot of weight on the axles pushing down but then so should this sideboard bed have the same effect and there was nasty mud down at the bottom here so why don't we try and stay out of it the mud was here is it going to be bad oh it is going to be bad oh that's horrible Okay, change of plan. Aim for the telegraph poles. All good. Yep. Yeah, those, that suspension is definitely one for watching out if you're going over big rocks and stuff. I feel like there's not much flex and you could get flipped over onto your side without much warning. Like, ooh, like that almost. Where was that boulder? There it is. 
I can't believe it almost happened here as I was saying that. But also, if the road dips away suddenly and you don't see it, the whole thing's going to just start to flex over. I haven't taken any damage though, which is nice. Right. Thank you. Down to the last one. Bricks. Not sure yet whether I'm going to use this guy for the bricks or bring out something else. I'm just going to nip up and get some fuel. Right, engine off. Well, we assess what would be the best course of action. It would have been nice to get the watchtower over here done as well. I saw it as we were driving around here. Where else have we... We've got a few things to do. One watchtower to the south. One, two to the north. That count up right. Oh, I'm missing one somewhere. And one out there. So one north, one south, and one west. Okay. Right, two north, one south, one west. That's what I meant to say. Right, aim bricks. What have we got? Anything else that we could use? Nope. We could pop back to the garage. What have we got? Seven thieves here. You know. That's possibly a bit overkill for two lots of bricks. It'd be nice to use something a little bit different. Mm, possible. Aye, we haven't used the Puma two for ages. This is a Mister Buses mod. Why don't we bring him out and use him? It's the Ankh Mark 38 Puma 2. Yeah, deploy. This will make it a little bit quicker. Customize. Frame add ons. That one. Purchase. Don't think we'll need a crane. It looks like it's glitching on something in there, though. Can't quite tell. Try and move the camera around so we get a better idea. Looks like it's glitching onto the load bed, so we'll take it off. Not bother with that. Got some roof rack. Aye. Let's just go with that. Leave. So we're going with the army tan colour. As soon as I mentioned the Ankh Mark 30 earlier. This is a great mod. This is if you like your Ankh Mark 38s, but the youth thing's got 300 litre fuel. I think the Ankh Mark 38s have got 200. Am I even going the right way? Yes, I am. This thing should power up there. Let's see what he's like through here. I'm just going to leave it in automatic. Oh, he's spinning up the wheels with that torque. Look at that. What a difference. Okay, that's just crazy. That's like we're just... Yeah, slow it down. But not bothered. The tires are just what makes a difference in this. Want to get the job done? Yeah, bring out a mod. No, I am. Um, feel a bit cheating now because that was just so awesome. But we haven't used them in ages, so again, I want to show off all the vehicles that we've got available to us. But we will be back in the vanilla ones, both Mac and Kenworth, for sure. I'll just get through here and I'll do a wee bit of a jump cut just to save a bit of time. And I'll get us down to the wee town where I dropped off that truck. Just still can't remember the what it was. It looked like the highway truck.
What a beast. And it's very efficient in fuel compared to the vanilla one. And I'm going to go right over the top of that somehow. Handily, there's... Because I'm high centered there. Although I could back off. Let's see if I can get... Oh, oh yeah. Who needs a winch? Look how easy that truck made it. This has got the... It doesn't have the fine-tuned gearboxes as either past as a snowrunner or off-road gearbox. Still pretty decent by all accounts, you know. Got us here, no problem. You know, I was going to do a jump cut. Guess I'm not. I'm so fast over that. We're almost there. Careful here. Oof. A racing car in comparison. Just kind of show you how much overpowered some mods can be, and this is not really that much of a boost. Hey, right, hold on a sec. Anchors out. Gonna be going. Right, that waypoint there, yeah, and then follow it around. Okay, let's go and get him. I eat him around the corner. Actually pretty decent on the asphalt as well. I'm just going to throw him in there. A little bit of damage here and there. We can take that. We have spares. Holy moly, we are driving it like I've stolen it. Nothing is stopping us. I mean, it's, it's army equivalent. Well, I say army, it's forces equivalent. It's going to be good off-road. That's what it's designed for. short work of that. Almost too easy. And you can see the difference in the suspension working for this mod truck, where this thing tends to go over some of these stones a whole lot easier. Ooh. Oh, I, was going, I thought I was going to hit that telegraph pole. There's definitely less. There's more flex in the suspension to your body is rolling over less, you know what I mean? You feel less inclined that you're going to tip over. It's the main thing. Right, okay, we're in. That was fast. Rex, yeah, two please. Don't even need that thing. Fuel, let's go. I'll just leave it there, quite handy. Nice if the rain went off, of course. Again. So between Ontario but it never rained in British Columbia. If you want to live in a dry state or um, 
what we call it's not a state, is it? Reg uh, territory. Go for Ontario. I'm just kind of following the telegraph poles back again. Oops. Even fully loaded, this thing hasn't even slowed down. And to anybody new, if you're interested in any of the mods you see in my Let's Plays, they're all linked be below in the description for quick access to the official websites for all the mods. The only thing I'm not sure because I'm playing on the PC is whether it's they're all console compatible, but I believe they should be. And don't even need to think about fuel as a problem here. 80 litres is all we've used. I know, well, all we've used from there. We will get that second garage and warehouse and truck store fully up and running. Well, of course, I could still crash. I could change things dramatically. I'm seeing floating sticks. Ignore the fact it's floating in there. Well, the rain stopped, but it's a misty... misty afternoon, early evening. Again, head for the telegraph pole just in case. So much easier. And I'm going to go back over those stones, the landslide. Don't take it easy though. Don't want to tip over. Okay. Let's square it off. Up you get. Go on. Up you get. Keep going. Are you stuck? Right, back it up. Ooh, don't bounce about. Up you go. There we go. A little bit of a run at it. <clears throat> awesome. Who needs the winch? Obviously, if I had got stuck, I'd have used the winch, but I'm gonna try it without. Interesting, purely out of sat, uh, like curiosity is what levels of traction have given these tires. Are they way more than stock? Because it would appear they must be, but I don't know to what level. I just think they're 
kind of in keeping with what this vehicle would probably have fitted. Not far to go now. It's cut close to this telegraph pole. It's all muddy there. Well, you wouldn't think so. We absolutely destroyed that task. Well done, Bank Mark 38, Puma 2. Simply awesome. Not seen time, I hope. We're going to see a building appear right in front of us. Yes, we are. Bush. Just like that. Yes, truck. New truck. So, that second, second garage construction done. Make yourself a home. Thanks for your cooperation. You're more than welcome. 16,600 cash. 1,380 XP. Rewards are these. Garage slots, truck store, and warehouse is now available. Except, where's the warehouse? Is that it over? Back it up. I only assume... No, that was already open, this. Because this is where we got the special... That's the repair zone. Where is the warehouse that we opened? Uh, no, I want a warehouse. Where's the buildings? Buildings are here. Warehouse? Nope, that was already open. Factory was already open. The other factory was open. Trailer store, service hub. Nope, I think that was open as well. And this one. Oh, oh, okay, maybe this one, but it's got double of everything. I think that's not correct. I don't know. But if it is that warehouse, we've doubled up everything. I don't know. Okay, guys, I'm going to park this one up. Hey, where's the garage? I'm going to stick him back in the garage. He's done a job, well, an awesome job. But we'll find another truck for the next stage, whatever we're doing. There we go. Retain. And we've got all our slots available to us now as well. Great stuff. Let's go back outside to the Mac. Well, the sun is setting, and he probably will fall asleep very soon. I would like to again thank you for viewing, it is greatly appreciated. Um, I'm not sure how long this one is, but it's probably longer than my, my usuals at, the, at this rate. Again, thank you to my subscribers, all of you, and my latest one, BlanketBoy77. Again, thank you uh, very much for taking time to subscribe. Everything is greatly appreciated on my behalf. You will see me again soon. Bye for now.